So Mike, what's behind the merger between the agency and the legacy? Well, it's pretty simple. We're trying to take two companies that have absolute best practices on their own, individually, they're growing, they're strong, um, in isolation. One group, Legacy, focuses on-field negotiating baseball contracts. The other group, the agency, focuses off-field, talent marketing deals, commercial opportunities, broadcasting, coaching, golf, taking these two businesses, completely complementary, putting them together under one house, and creating an integrated agency that's going to better serve our clients. You know, it's interesting, in baseball, you do the whole thing, you do the contracts, and then you do the marketing as well, where in football, you just do the marketing side. Why is it? Do you view the two different sports differently, the economics? We do. We do. And we like the economics in baseball right now from an agency perspective. Uh, we think it's strong. The contracts are long. They're, you know, they're guaranteed for the most part. Um, and we can devote our resources there. And our folks on the baseball side, these guys are, are tops in their field. They've negotiated C.C. Sabathia's deal, Vernon Wells' deal, Carl Crawford's deal, Adam Dunn's deal. So these guys can negotiate one heck of a contract. Put them together with our off-field guys. Now we have cradle-to-grave representation. We can take a, an athlete from the draft through the minors, negotiate great contracts for them in the major leagues, and when they hang up their spikes, we can put them in the booth as well. Talking about what happened with the Angels, a three billion dollar deal there, Texas Rangers as well, and we all, of course, are aware of what's uh, going on with the Dodgers. Yes, we are. Um, how has that impacted the bidding right now as you're going into the 2012 season of Major League Baseball? Is, is there an upside there in the anticipation of these TV deals? I think so. You know, a rising tide floats all boats. And uh, what's good for the business of baseball is good for us. And as TV rights continue to increase, and I you see digital rights increasing, and ML BAM's done a great job enhancing the, the exposure and the depth of baseball and penetration globally as well. Business has gotten better in the NHL. Do you see any potential there down the road? I think that the NHL has done a great job of growing their brand and building their brand. It's something down the road that we would look at. We've seen some of the top tier athletes uh, actually use their brand to get equity stakes mm -hmm. uh, in other businesses or sports teams. Is that the direction that the top uh, athletes are going towards? I do believe so, especially as playing contracts and on the field contracts are you know, getting bigger and bigger and there's so much cash involved with these athletes. Well, having an ownership stake in a in a business, you know, one, it really ties you to that brand, uh, but also it gives you additional upside that you might not get in a traditional endorsement agreement. So uh, I, I think that's a good trend, and we support that.